Hello students. Now, in this lecture, we are discussing the nomenclature of alkyl halides. So now we know that we know that when you consider alkyl halides, that is Rx, and nomenclature of aryl halide, that is Arx. Okay. So now we consider the nomenclature of alkyl halides. First, consider the common and IUPAC name of alkyl halides. So, alkyl halides have the common name uh, given by identifying the alkyl group and then follow by the word as a halide. So, when you identify the alkyl group, the alkyl group may be a normal, they may be iso, neo, secondary or tertiary depending upon the type of the alkyl halide. The alkyl halide may be primary, it may be secondary or it may be tertiary. So it may have this different type of the prefix. In IOPC name, the alkyl halide given name as a haloalkenes. Remember, halogen is used as a uh, prefix. It is not used as a suffix. Remember, though in alkyl halide, halogen is a functional group, but its name is given by considering the halogen as a prefix. So its name is given as a haloalkenes. We have to identify the halo group. Then we have to also identify the number of the carbon to which halogen is attached. So that number is also given in the case of the um, haloalkenes where it require. So its name, uh, its number is given depending upon the position. So haloalkenes. So first halogen is considered and then the parent alkene is considered. So in nomenclature of aryl halides, when you consider its common name or IUPC name, in the both case, the hello alkene is the given. So when you consider the aryl halide as a dihalogen derivative, in the case of the dihalogen derivative of the aryl halides, we know that with respect to the mono substitution, with respect to the mono substitution. Suppose this is the mono substitution at the carbon number 1. Then with respect to the mono substitution, the position second, that is a position 1, 2, is called it as an ortho position. With respect to the mono substitution, the position 3 is a 1, 3 and they are the media. And with respect to the mono substitution, the position 4 is a para 1, 4. So 1, 2 are the ortho, 1, 3 are the meta and 1, 4 are the para. So these are the position. Remember, ortho, meta, para, these prefix are used in the common system and 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, these numbers are used in IOPC system. If the haloalkanes contain more than two halogens, then we have to... Uh, give the number into the halogen in a such a way that it has the lowest possible number and then we have to write its name as again haloalkanes. So, in aryl halide also, their name is common or IOPC names are considered as a haloalkanes. Okay, no, sorry, haloarins, not alkane, haloarins. Its names are given as a haloarins. Haloarins. So, haloarins is the IUPC name of the aryl halide and haloalkane is the IUPC name of the alkyl halide that is the aliphatic halide and this is the aromatic halides. Okay. So, now let us consider uh, its example in a detail. So, when you consider the example of the alkyl halide, let us start with the uh, simple example that is a common and IUPC name of this alkyl and aryl halides. So, first I write down the example of alkyl halides. So, it is now write down its common name and then go for the IOBC names. So, the first example is a CHCl2. Okay. In CHCl2 means carbon is having CH2Cl2 where the carbon is having two hydrogen and the two halogen. So this is a compound actually from the 4 hydrogen of the methane, if the 2 hydrogen is replaced
produced by the two halogen it gives the corresponding compound so its name is given as a methylene dichloride so it is a because carbon is having the two hydrogen this group is called as a methylene so it is a methylene dichloride so that is its common name now when you consider its iupac name so in writing the iupac name i have to identify the group i have to identify the group this identify halogen groups are the two so they are on the same carbon and carbon number 1 that is a methane so it is name is given as a dichloromethane here no need to write the number because there is one and only one carbon so its ipc name is dichloromethane the next example is a chloroform what happen in chloroform the four hydrogen of the methane is replaced by the three chloride okay so it is actually haloform chloroform bromoform iodoform so like this way so its uh, name common name i consider as a chloroform its iupac name is that it has a three chlorine so its iupac name is trichloromethane so from the four carbon of the methane the three hydrogen is replaced by the three chlorine so its name is three chloromethane okay now next example in the next example the three carbon are in a continuous chain so it is a straight chain so it's a three carbon so it is a prop propane from one hydrogen is replaced by bromine so it is a propyl as it is straight chain so its name is n propyl bromide its name is n propyl bromide so when you give i suppose the name the propane is the parent and give the minimum number and that minimum number is 1 so its iupac name is 1 bromopropane 1 bromopropane its iupac name the next example in this example the carbon is attached with the two methyl group and one hydrogen and one chlorine okay so now we know that when carbon is having two methyl and one hydrogen this is a condition of the iso so it is iso it has a total three carbon so it is iso propyl chloride is its uh, common name now what its iupac name so in, in order to give the iupac names so 1 2 3 or 1 2 3 so the chlorine is at the two position so the halogen that is a chloro and parent is the three carbon propane so it is a two the two is a number which indicate the carbon to which it is attached so it is a two chloro propane it is a two chloro propane so its common name i can written here so it has a isopropyl chloride and two isopropyl chloride and two chloropropane its ipc name now let us consider the next example the next example is carbon is having three methyl group and one halogen that is a bromine okay so now we know that when carbon is having the three methyl group it has a given prefix as a t for tertiary it has a four carbon so it is a tertiary butyl bromide so its name is tertiary butyl bromide so when write down its iupac name so the maximum number of the carbon are 1 2 3 1 2 3 or 1 2 3 so go by any way so it has a three that is a propane is a parent now at the two position the bromine and methyl is there we know that the bromine is come b for bromine will become for first then m for methyl so its name is 2 bromo 2 methyl so when i write down the letter and the number i use a hyphen 2 bromo 2 methyl i can write the name parent as a propane okay so it is a 2 bromo 2 bromo 2 methyl propane its iupac name now the next example in the next example the carbon is having the two methyl group the carbon is having two methyl group and bromine is at s then there is a ch2 and ch3 so we know that when carbon is having two methyl group okay so now here it is a 
uh, okay, the carbon is having two methyl group, okay. and again the third one is the carbon, okay. So this is the condition is a tertiary, so this condition is a tertiary, okay. But as carbon is having two methyl group, okay, so I call it as a tertiary, so I call it as a tertiary in a common name, and it has a prefix as an iso, it has a prefix as an iso because carbon is having two methyl group and the bromine is attached. So I write its name as iso, then it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it is a iso pentyl bromide. So it is a iso pentyl bromide. It is a it's common name. So its common name is iso pentyl bromide. Okay, so how I give the name as iso pentyl? Because it will be the completed the condition of the iso will be completed the condition of iso that is there is a one methyl group on the second carbon so it is iso so it has a prefix as iso then it is a, uh, a five carbon so it is iso pentyl bromide now what is its IUPC name so in order to write down its IUPC name we have to number the longest chain we have to number the longest chain so the longest chain has a number one two three and four so at the two position bromine at the two position is methyl. So its name is 2-bromo, 2-methyl and the longest chain is of the 4. So it is a butyl. We have to write the name in the single word. So I can write here below because I have no space. So its name is 2-bromo, 2-methyl, butyl. Okay. The next is the Carbon is having two methyl group. Carbon is having three methyl group. Then CH2 and I. Okay. So now, so there is a two methyl group on the second carbon. So we know that this is the condition of the NEO. So it is a NEO. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So its common name I can write here. It is a NEO pentyl iodide. It has a common name. NEO pentyl iodide. Now what is IUPC name? So IUPC name is given so that iodine will be got least possible number. So 1, 2 and 3. The parent is the propane. Or 1, 2, 3 but halogen is not included. So we are not going like this way. So we are going from this side. So 1, 2, 3. So 1 is iodo. So its name is 1 iodo. Then at the 2, there is a 2 methyl group. So 2, 2. Dimethyl. 1 iodo. 2 to dimethyl propane is the parent of the uh, this system. So its name is 1 iodo 2 to dimethyl. So its name is neopentyl iodide. Its common name is neopentyl iodide. The next example is the this. In this example, we know that halogen is attached to carbon that is sp2 hybridized. And when a halogen is attached to carbon which is sp2 hybridized, means it has a double bond condition, and it, at that time we call it as a vinyl. So it is a vinyl bromide. So it has a prefix as a vinyl bromide. Now write down the IPC name. The IPC name is 1, 2. It is not a 1, 2 because halogen had the carbon 1 number 1. So we have to write the, so look at, if I go to give the numbering 1, 2, the halogen, the double bond is a major functional group. It has a minimum number. But, okay. But if I go from this side, then the double bond also got a minimum number and the halogen also got a minimum number and therefore this is the most preferable side. So therefore, its name is 1-bromo 2-carbon alkene. That is a ethene. So its name is 1-bromo ethene. Let us consider the next example for the again alkyl halides. So So in this case example, now we know that halogen is attached to carbon which is sp3 hybridized and the next is a carbon-carbon double bond. So 
So in this case, it is called as allyl. So it is a allyl iodide. Its name is a allyl iodide. Now give the IUPAC name. So here, when you write the IUPAC name, the numbering is minimum number is given to the functional group. The functional group is a double bond. So it is one, two, three. So if you go from this side, it is a one, two, three. But uh, look at from this side, the minimum number is one, and from this side, minimum number is a two. So we are not allowing this. So we are considering the minimum number is a one. So its name is three iodo. Its name is three iodo. Three carbon alkene. That is a propene. So its name is three iodo propene. So propene has a one number. So I will not write the number. Now look at it. So here the compound have the no special condition as a uh, vinyl or allyl. So it is a simple alkene. So its chem common name will be considered one, two, three, four. So it is a. I say it is a. Uh, it has no special common name. So I will write the dash. So what is its IUPAC name? The when I write the IUPAC name, one, two, one, two. From this side, so it has a two number, and from this side, it also has a two number. So I will prefer this side because halogen will be got a least number. Because if I go from this side, halogen has a larger number. Okay. So I prefer its number like this way. So one, two, then three and four. So it is a four carbon alkene. So its IUPAC name is one bromo. Its IUPAC name is one bromo. Then it is a uh, four carbon that is a butene. So on butene it has a number one bromo. It has a four carbon that is a butane. So from the butane. The two is a number for double bond, so it is a. So I write number name is a but two e and e as double bond is at two position. Remember, I will give the numbering so that double bond will be got the least possible number because double bond is the parent functional group, not a halogen. But if I go from this side, it also has a double bond, a uh, two number for double bond, and if I go from this side. The double bond also has a two number. I will prefer from that side so that halogen will be got a minimum number, and therefore I write here. Okay. Now next example. Let us consider the example from the aryl halide. So if I give the example like this way. Now we know that when benzene is uh, halogen is attached to carbon, which is sp3 hybridized, and now next to is the benzene, then at that case it is called as a benzyl iodide. It is called as a benzyl iodide. Right. So when I write the IUPAC name, I have to give the number so that uh, parent, that is a, this is a methane is a parent member. The C6H5, the phenyl group, we call it as a phenyl group. This is the benzene group, is called as the phenyl group. Uh, phenyl and iodine both are the prefix. The methane is the parent, so its name is given as a one iodo, one phenyl. Remember, benzene is not a parent, and one carbon methane is a parent, so its name is one iodo, one phenyl, one iodo, one phenyl methane. So similarly in this case, now remember the parent is the Two carbon alkene. Give the numbering so that two carbon alkene will be got the least possible number. So if I write bromine here and hydrogen here, now you can observe uh, carefully. So the number is given so that halogen got least number. If I go from this one to one and two, and from this one and two, so I give the minimum number one and two. So at the one position bromine, and at the one position phenyl. So its name is one bromo. One methyl, sorry, one bromo, one phenyl. The two carbon as a alkene, as a methane, ethane. So one bromo, one phenyl, ethane is the IUPAC name. If you have to write its common name, its common name can write in the form of the derivative of the benzyl. So it has a common name. I assume as a, it is a 
benzyl iodide so it is like this way it is a benzyl bromide but it has a methyl so i can say that it is a methyl benzyl bromide i can write the common name as a derivative form okay. the next is so it is a dimethyl benzyl chloride its name is dimethyl benzyl chloride as a derivative of benzyl chloride remember this is a benzyl this is a benzyl so this is a benzyl iodide it's mono derivative so it is a methyl benzyl bromide it's a di derivative so it is a dimethyl benzyl chloride so like this way a common name can be written now write down its iodine name 1 2 3 at the two position chlorine at the two position is phenyl chlorine become first and then phenyl so its name is 2 chloro it is a 2 chloro 2 methyl it is a uh, sorry 2 chloro 2 phenyl not methyl 2 chloro 2 phenyl and it has a 3 carbon that is a propyl so 2 chloro 2 phenyl propyl is the ipc name of this compound now let us consider the next example is from uh, aryl halides okay. now consider what are consider example consider is a ben uh, is a benzyl halide now consider aryl halides so we know that this is a common example that is a it's a called as a uh, common is a chlorobenzene is a parent okay so i can write here chlorobenzene the same is the ipc name as a chlorobenzene same is the ipc So let us consider the dihalogen derivative. So like this way, so if we consider a chlorine is at the one and three position, it is a in I in the common name we can write ortho or meta or para. So one and three position are the meta. So it is a meta di chloro benzene. And in IUPAC name we have to number the right. So it is one three di chloro benzene. One three dichloro benzene. Suppose I consider the next example is like this way. So consider a derivative of the. So here when I consider example like this way, so I can write its common name. So we know that this is a toluene, and at, with respect to toluene, it is a chlorine. Okay, so chlorine, it is a parent one and four is the position of the chlorine. So I said it is a four chloro toluene. is called as a four chloro toluene or if i write the name in the form of the benzene it also possible but here i have to given the name number halogen and then here i have to consider uh, so 